guys, how's it going? Markel here, back with another video. And in this video, I wanna talk about my DJI Osmo Pocket One. This five-year-old camera was released in 2018, and it was the first of its kind uh, back in 2018. But since that time, there have been other companies who have made copies of this similar style. And to be honest with you, in 2023, this is still a great camera, depending on the person and what their needs are. But the first thing I wanna start with when talking about this camera in 2023 is the build quality of this camera. Now, like I said, this camera came out in 2018. I've had it since February of 2019. And the body itself is a uh, plastic composite body here. This is not metal. At least all of this parts here are all plastic. This piece right here possibly could be metal. The gimbal, the camera itself, is plastic and this is a uh, 1 over 2.3 CMOS sensor 12 megapixels so you have 4k standard 4k 24 all the way up to 60 frames per second and in 1080p you can do uh, 24 all the way up to 120 frames per second with this camera now what people really want to know about this camera is the video quality so as I show you guys some of the video quality from this camera I want you to keep in mind that this is the way this camera actually comes. Uh, I've done a video like this last year where I talked about this camera in 2022 and I had a lot of accessories on it, but I wanted to start with it like this so you guys can see how small this camera actually is and how you can easily put it in your hand and hide it and only have the gimbal up top where people see that. And most people, you know, unless they're really paying attention to you, will never really see this part of the camera. But to be honest, this is five-year-old technology, almost six-year-old technology. And there are a lot of cameras out right now that have better dynamic range, better color science, better microphones, okay? And a lot of them also have changeable batteries. That's one of the drawbacks to this camera is that it doesn't have a changeable battery. So even though I've had this camera for a long time, I honestly don't use it a whole lot. I only use this camera really when I want to do some kind of tracking because it works great for tracking you or if I want to do b-roll while I have it on a tripod and I'll have it pointing down at whatever I'll use it like that but just to take it out every day and film with it honestly no I don't which is probably why my battery has not degraded so much because I can take it out and on a full day I can do a full day of filming on this camera I can almost fill up a 128 gigabyte uh, memory card because the max you can put in this thing is 256. But for me, it works great. I don't film long blogs. I normally do short clips, you know, 20 second, 30 second clips. That works great for me. Now, what I would also like to do, guys, is show you like this is the way you're going to get the camera. It's standard, right? And then you get these two extra pieces here along with a type c charger so you get a connector for lightning for your iphone and you get a connector for type c and the way this works is you would slide out this blank piece piece right here and then you would plug in this and then you could attach it to your iphone because what happens is you turn this on you have this very small screen right here which is a one inch screen right and it's very functional like you can pull this down, you can set all your settings here pretty easily, okay? You slide it this way, any videos you have on here, you can rewatch the videos to see how you're framed up. You swipe the other way, you have your settings, uh, whether you wanna do photos or video, whatever it may be, whatever setting you wanna put it on, time-lapse, slow-mo, panoramic, video or photos, you can do that. And then if you swipe up, this is what you control the camera with. You can control up, down, left to right, flipping the camera around, uh, the gimbal, follow me mode. You have many different things that you can do. So when, you, when I showed this last year, right, I showed it with a bunch of accessories. And I did that because if you're a blogger and you're just starting out, because this is a very inexpensive camera now that it is almost six years old. So what I did was, I got a lot of these accessories to build it up to make it more convenient to blog with. So for example, 
Uh, this bottom piece right here is a Bluetooth connector. So I don't have to use these small pins right here to plug it into the phone. I can just use this and go directly to a cell phone, which gives me a much bigger screen to control the camera. All right, then I can use this scroll wheel here. And these buttons on the front replace me having to use this screen where I could flip it. I can change the settings here. There's a little dial right here where I can go up and down with the camera and I turn this dial and it allows me to go left and right with the camera as well. So that's what these extra accessories are for. And then because it is a tight focal length, I believe it's a 80 degree field of view, it's pretty tight for most bloggers. So you would buy something like this from Ulanzi, which is a wide angle lens adapter. It's magnetic. You would just pop that on there and it would give you a much wider field of view. So one last thing I have here is this connector here, which would go on the bottom of your Bluetooth. And this allows you to use a tripod and you can put this thing on a tripod stand. And I just happen to have a uh, Ulanzi <laughs> tripod stand here where you can take this quarter, 20, uh, quarter 20 screw, can't say that right, at the bottom. You can screw this on. And now you have a complete blogging setup. Oops, that easily pulls off as you can see, but you have an easy blogging setup that you can extend, make it longer. But this is what I showed last year as a complete blogging kit. And the microphones on this thing are pretty decent. So what I'm gonna do right now as I end this video, man, is just show you some video that I've done on this, uh, using this camera right here. And we were out having fun recently at the waterfall. So I did some video at the waterfall. I did some video while we were on the road. And I did some video while we were at the casino as well as low light. Cause in low light, this is not bad. But if someone honestly asked me, you know, if they could get this under $200, I'll be like, sure. You know, it's a great camera for under $200. But if you're looking at spending more than $200, I would say there are many other cameras that have better dynamic range, better color science, and changeable batteries that you can get instead of this that'll probably be a better buy. But this is still a great device in 2023, don't get me wrong, but it's not for everyone. I would say this is mainly for beginners because this is a very convenient camera where you don't have to worry about changing your ISO, your aperture, uh, your shutter speed, any of that, you can just press record, leave it in normal colors, and it will look just fine. Uh, this is, is very easy for someone to just pick up and start using for YouTube or vacations or travel or any of that. But if you're spending, in my opinion, more than $200, this is not worth buying because it does not have changeable batteries. The dynamic range is good, but the second version is much better and the color science is much better on cameras over $200. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching as always. And until the next time, guys, I'm out. Peace, enjoy the rest of your day.